So I'm in the studio with Omar Samra. I'm very happy that he's here. You are a man of many, many talents, and just the latest one is that you're going up in space. That's absolutely right. And I really want to know how did you come about entering the competition to go up into space? So the competition started last Feb. Yeah. And um, it was a, a few stages. The first stage was a voting stage, mm -hmm. which was um, the one that I was least comfortable with. Because uh, then I have to go into all sorts of people and getting them to vote for you. How did they vote for you? Uh, there was a, there was a profile that you needed to create, and then you needed to go out and reach out for uh, for the maximum amount of votes. Mm -hmm. About a million people applied from um, 68 different countries, and there was three stages. The last one was last week in Orlando. That was the final stage, and 107 people qualified, and eventually they picked 23 people to win a trip to space next year. Okay. Now, I want to know that you said there's several stages and there's several tests that you've got to go through. Yeah. What is the test that you just hated the most? The one that I hated the most yeah. has got to be the physics, physics test, the written test that they put us through. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I had been in a classroom environment for like so many years. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say the, the one that was most challenging mm -hmm. um, was the one that they put us in a, in a light strike, like a fighter plane. Mm -hmm. with a two-seater plane and we went into um, basically took off and then started doing all these kind of extreme maneuvers I mean we weren't doing them, the pilot was um, you know rolls and 360 mm -hmm. maneuvers simulating the, um, a crash okay. and uh, and then while we were in midair like the, um, the pilot just decided to leave the controls and, and ask me to kind of you know pilot take over plane. yeah which was interesting how was that? Kind of like, oh, I'm off then, you take over. Oh, moment. Yeah, it seems I did reasonably well, but um, I, you know, I, I kind of struggled for a few seconds, like freaked out a bit. Yeah. Um, the really interesting thing about doing these extreme maneuvers on those planes is that you experience a lot of G-force. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which basically feels like someone's kind of sucking the blood out of your brain into your legs. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so you basically need to you need to really squeeze your muscles in mm. a certain way, and then you need to, to breathe in and hold the, the breath, mm. and that allows you to stop uh, what they call tunnel vision or grayness, which eventually leads to blackout if you don't if you don't follow the instructions. Oh my! Okay. Uh, having said that, I want to know what are you expecting to see when you finally get out there? When I finally get there, it's 103 kilometers uh, above sea level. We're gonna enter like we're gonna be outside, obviously, the Earth atmosphere. Mm -hmm. If you've seen Felix jump out of the the hot air balloon like a, you know a few months ago, mm -hmm. and the view that he saw when he stepped out, it's it's going to be like that. But it's gonna be a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be we're not entering we're not gonna get out of the spacecraft, but we will be looking obviously out of the window and flying zero gravity inside. Okay. And the view that I'm most looking forward to is basically looking out there and seeing Canada. If you had the chance to leave something up in space as a souvenir from you, what would it be? Um, I think it would be like a, probably be a photograph of uh, my late wife and my daughter. Mm -hmm. Because it's in, in some ways I'm dedicating this, uh, you know, this kind of, uh, you know, this win to, to, to them. Okay. Are you taking? I know this is going to be a strange question. Are you taking an iPod out there? Uh, I am uh, not taking an iPod, no? but it's a good idea. I might think I about think it. you should. Yeah. And I want to know what kind of playlist you'd have in there. If, if, yeah, if I am taking an iPod, yeah. uh, just off the top of my head, uh, there will be a lot of rap in there. Okay. And uh, probably a lot of Biggie. Any specific song? Um, specific song, I would say maybe Juicy. Something like that. Yeah. Is that is that the kind of music that's going to motivate? Yeah, I mean, it's either that or it's going to be like something something classic but cheesy, like you know, Eye of the Tiger or <laughs> you know, one of those soundtracks that we used to always train. Yeah. Like when I used to, when I'm young and I used to go to the gym and stuff, this was always playing in the background. You were having Rocky Balboa moments. Yeah, absolutely. Like. Well, I'm really happy that you came by, um, and I'm looking forward to having you on the big drive home. Hopefully, if you can, when you get back. It'd be great to see you then. I'd love to. I think I've been on the drive, the drive home with Sophie like you know some time ago, and we even actually had an interview while I was up on a mountain. Uh, really? In, in, in Russia. I miss all the good stuff. Yeah, as a war was breaking out between Georgia and Russia. So okay. So yeah, so it's uh, it'll be my pleasure to, to kind of it'll do that again. It'd be great to have you. You could tell us all about it, what you experienced, and everything. Like maybe I can call you from space as well. That would be. 
I would not <laughs> say no to that. I'm pretty sure Tom would be ecstatically over the moon, no pun intended, yeah. over that. Thank you so much for coming in Thank today. Thank you so much, Kieran, and uh, hopefully see you soon.